Greg here from our Egan, Minnesota Manufacturing Distribution Center up in Minnesota. And uh, we've been running a variety of tests on our new RhinoScreen 2.0, uh, which was launched here uh, within the last month and a half or so. And uh, we just finished doing a 250 run test, um, just printing on these sheets here to see how it held up using Plastisol ink. Um, phenomenal results. Uh, we just quit, wasn't breaking down, but a lot of people have asked, well, how do I get it off the screen? How do I reclaim? Because it's not the same, you know, animal that you are with an emulsion or a capillary film. So we've finished printing, we've carted um, out the bulk of the ink, so what we're going to do is uh, strip out the blackout tape and take it into the back, and we'll um, show you how you get it off the screen so you can reuse it again. So hold on at that point. Okay, we've uh, finished printing. We carted out the rest of the ink. Uh, we've stripped out all of the uh, blackout tape. And so what we're going to do now is show how you remove Rhino Screen 2.0 dry stencil film from a screen. And um, we do have a product which is called RS Remover, um, which acts very, very well with this particular product. However, if you have a really good pressure washer, high pressure, you can actually knock it out without it. So what we're going to do is apply half of, this, half of that image with this solution, and then we will come back and pressure washer it out. So what we're going to do is let's uh, apply this, and then we'll pull in for a tighter shot and do the actual pressure washing. So uh, we have our... RS remover comes in quarts, comes in gallons. It's a thick liquid, so if you were putting it up onto a wet screen, it'll stay where you want it to be. Um, along with our little scrubber, you'll just apply some here. it to both sides of the screen. Now we would let this sit normally for about three minutes then rinse it off and hit it with high pressure. So in the meantime what we're going to do is uh, pull in. Okay we shot. have uh, we've had it on it's about three minutes maybe four minutes. Um, what we want to do is just rinse it off quickly. That's just because I don't want to have we don't have the blowback on your face without with high, pre high pressure. So we just rinse it off. And then let's turn this baby on. And again, this is the RS 1500A high pressure washer. 1500 uh, PSI at the high range, down to 225 at the low range. Okay, that's it. You can see that we actually removed the stencil, and even where we didn't have the remover, we, we did a pretty good job with the pressure washer, but I'll tell you, the remover is the way okay. to go. We've used the RS remover, we've gotten our stencil off. Even though the pressure washer took off the right-hand side, if you don't have a really high pressure, washer, high quality, you're going to have some difficulty. So with a little bit of chemical, you can get rid of it. Thank you for watching. You know where to find us. RhinoTechInc.com. Until the next time. Thank you.